respected Mrs. Rachi Bela, Ms. Mohini Daljit Singh, Mr. Josefa Karakiwala, Mr. Shyam Zawar, Mr. Deepi Deshpande, Ms. Shaina N.C., Mr. Kanal Kapoor, Ms. Neeru Abrol, and Mr. Amit Sachdev. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to all of you. To begin with, I would like to quote an iconic business woman leader, Sheryl Sandberg, who is also the COO of Facebook, and I quote, look for growth, look for the teams that are growing quickly, look for a company that is doing well, look for a company where you feel that you can have a lot of impact on improving this world, unquote. And indeed, Jindal Steel and Power is one such company, as Cheryl mentions, is committed to improving the state of this world. I am so privileged today to share the dais with such respected and celebrated dignitaries to talk about the social commitment of Jindal Steel and Power. I would also like to thank the organizers for inviting JSPL again to be a part of this innovative conference. It is indeed a great opportunity for me as a teenager to be able to see initiatives that are so close to my heart. The theme of this inaugural session, Corporates, PSUs, and Government's Role in Sustainable and Responsible Nation Building, is an issue we all need to seriously debate. Representing the next generation in JSPL as well as in the country, I am well aware of the aspirations and the problems that the youth face in the country today. We all want jobs, lead a comfortable life, and fulfill our dreams. But what worries me as a teenager and as a country is that we don't give sufficient attention to issues like employment, sanitation, and gender-inclusive equality. And I wonder, is this the country of our dreams? However, when I see my parents making efforts in their own small and individual way, I feel optimistic. I also feel more hopeful when I see companies like ours and those present here also do so in their own unique ways. JSPL's priority areas in CSR are girl-child development, women empowerment, vocational training, and providing health and sanitation facilities to people in and around our plants in Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Arunachal Pradesh, and Jharkhand. We have also adopted more than 200 villages across the areas of our operations. Other focus areas are education, health, dairy farming, sports, agriculture, animal husbandry, water resource management, and environment. Relocation and rehabilitation residential colonies have also been built in Angul and Barbil, ensuring safety and comfort. Infrastructure development, on-farm and off-farm livelihood enhancement, and capacity building are other programs we are engaged with. In the field of health, I would like to share with you all that we are recently tied up with Hewlett Packard to start telemedicine centers in our adopted villages. We have also signed an MOU between Family Health International 360 and the USAID for adoption of positive healthy behaviors in schools. We are also partnering with Project Smile to conduct cleft lip surgeries and bring a smile on the faces of those suffering from cleft lips. Just like in India, JSPL has also expanded its CSR activities base, notably in Africa and Oman. My grandfather always believed in educating the girl child. As he said, by educating one girl, we are thereby educating two families. By following his ideals, JSPL has launched a number of schemes for the education of the girl child, a subject extremely close to my heart. A number of need and merit-based scholarships are given to girls who want to pursue higher education across the states where we are present, as well as in Kurukshetra, which my father represented twice in the Lok Sabha. We have also launched the Dattak Putri scheme, wherein study materials, including bags and dresses, have been provided to more than 1,300 girls 
who belong to the below poverty line families living in and around our plants. We have also set up ashrams for orphan girls at Mahaloi and Godhi in Chhattisgarh. In Raigarh, we have provided a merit come scholarship to nearly 300 girls apart from infrastructure and academic support as well as promotion of computer education. A unique good luck program for the promotion of girl child education has been initiated in Angul, Odisha. Here the company motivates girls appearing for high school examinations by rewarding them with gifts. Here I would like to talk about two extremely bright girls, Emumi Pulu and Mijiki Mili from Arunachal Pradesh. These girls had secured the first and the second position respectively in the class 8 annual examination. However, their parents were unable to support them for higher education due to their economic condition. Jindal Power Limited, that is building hydropower plants in the state, came forward and is now sponsoring their education and fulfilling their dreams. To highlight issues pertaining to women, my mother has also been organizing a Mahila Shwa Shakti March at Kurukshetra, Kurukshetra for the past two years to generate awareness. More than 10,000 women have participated in the event each year. Being the chairperson of the National Bal Bhavan, my mother is spearheading a number of initiatives to make it a modern, world-class facility. The institute is now much more dynamic and in touch with the realities of today. JSPL is also supporting her in endeavor and also sponsoring some of the upgradation work that is being carried out at the National Bal Bhavan. We at JSPL be believe that when it comes to corporate sustainability, the presence of gender inclusive leadership helps create a new benchmark in community development. And that is why I started my presentation with Sheryl Sandberg, who also said, and I quote, if more women are included in leadership roles, we'll stop assuming that they shouldn't be, unquote. A highlight of our initiatives for including more women in the workforce includes the setting up of Shudashi, which is a low-price sanitary napkin manufacturing cum training unit, Sugandhi, which is an Agarbati manufacturing unit, Chetty, which is a food preservation center, Srijan, which is a stitching and tailoring unit, Akriti, a center to produce handmade products, Aprajita, providing training in masonry, Ma Biraja Federation for the making of coconut oil, Odifab, a platform that showcases diversified jute products, and Mahila Kalyan Evam Vikas Samiti for paper making. In Jharkhand, in collaboration with Jharkraft, we are providing training in Zardozi and Kantha work to women and have even started a unique program wherein we train young tribal girls in athletics and football. The company has also started a number of health awareness programs for women across locations like Kishori Express, which is a mobile unit to spread awareness and improve the health of adolescent girls, and Vatsalya, which aims to create awareness in health, on health-related issues to ensure safe motherhood. Now I would like to share with the audience an initiative that my mother is extremely passionate about. As you all know, she is a renowned classical dancer and performs Kuchipuri. She is now setting up a Jindal Center for Arts in Odisha, Delhi, and many parts of the country that will provide training in classical arts to students. A residential facility spread over 10 acres, the center at Odisha will offer scholarships to underprivileged students. This will also enable the youth to develop their skills so that they can take up classical art forms as a career option in India as well as globally. I am very inspired by what my mother is doing and as a budding classical dancer myself, I hope to take this initiative of hers forward in the coming years. My grandfather, Sri O.P. Jindal, believed that without the upliftment of weak and backward sections in the society, a, na a, na a nation can never prosper. Taking forward my grandfather's belief, JSPL is now focused 
on enhancing the skills of the many unemployed youth across the country through the establishment of the OP Jindal Community Colleges. JSPL has partnered with Montgomery College, Maryland, USA for setting up of the community colleges and degrees are jointly awarded with IGNU. During the last two years, 8,000 students have completed their technical training programs from the OPJCC. The job placement rate is over 70% with 100% placement in civil trades such as masonry, carpentry, colleges and plan to scale this up in the coming years with our aim being to train 1 lakh students. In addition to Chhattisgarh, Odisha and Jharkhand, OPJCC students are currently coming in from Arunachal Pradesh, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Andhra Pradesh as well. JSPL has also adopted four ITIs that are located at Kharsia, Sarangar and Ghargoda in Chhattisgarh and Barbil in Odisha. We have also established the OP Jindal Institute of Technology at Punji Patra and the OP Jindal Institute of Power Technology at Tamnar. My father's belief in skill development goes beyond just setting up of the OPJCC. He is one of the few industrialists who has kept aside a corpus of 500 crores for setting up a non-profit global university known as the OP Jindal Global University. The vision of the JGU is to promote global education and programs as well as a global curriculum. It is one of the few universities in Asia that maintains a 1 is to 15 faculty-student ratio and appoints faculty members from different parts of the world with outstanding academic qualifications and experience. Over 1,850 students are currently enrolled in the university. The university has established four schools, which are Jindal Global Law School, Jindal Global Business School, Jindal School of International Affairs, and Jindal School of Government and Public Policy. As you can see, the university has received many notable recognitions. I would also like to proudly share with all of you that in recognition of my father's exceptional distinction in the fields of entrepreneurship and public service, the University of Texas, Dallas has named its School of Management after him. My parents personally believe that companies should and must wholeheartedly contribute and participate in CSR-related activities and give back to the society. After all, as far as our CSR outreach is concerned, we are all working for the development of the country and are not in competition with each other. JSPL also welcomes the mandatory spending of 2% of a company's profits on CSR-related activities, and I can very proudly say that we are spending more than the mandatory requirement. As a young Jindalite and a proud Indian, I do want to see more and more contribution from corporates in enriching the lives of the citizens of the country, especially the underprivileged. I would like to close with these thoughts. Choti si hai dunya meri, chota sa hai sapna. Na to koi ho bekaar, na ho koi bhuka. Sab ki sar par rahe chal, har koi paay apna ha. Yuva apni taakat pehchane, har koi parna likhna jane. मिलकर ऐसी राह बनाए प्रगति पथ पर चलते जाए आओ अपना देश सवारे पूरी दुनिया हमें पहचाने 
छोटी सी है दुनिया मेरी छोटा सा है सपना थैंक यू ऑल सो मच फॉर लिसनिंग सो पेशेंट विद टू मी एंड गिविंग मी एंड जे एस पी एल द ऑपरचुनिटी टू शो केस आर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू सी एस आर इन आर ओन लिटल वे लेट आस ऑल कोऑपरेट विद ईच अदर एंड रीच आउट टू मोर एंड मोर पीपल एंड मेक अ डिफरेंस आफ्टर ऑल इंडिविजुअल कमिटमेंट इज वॉट मेक्स अ टीम अ सोसाइटी एंड अ सिविलाइजेशन वर्क जय हिंद